the right things are done in the right manner. Look at this. The term logistics have been defined in several ways by different entities in response to the particular needs of the entities concerned. However, the most extensive of such definitions is the one provided by the Council of Logistics Management, which defines logistics in the following ways. The process of planning, implementing, and controlling the efficient, effective flow and storage of goods, services, and related information from point of origin to the point of consumption for the purpose of conforming to customer requirements. Now, what you need to understand is that when goods that are stored at a particular place are moving, they must move in an efficient and effective manner. And the goods go with certain services. They will be handling. The goods cannot just go without human beings handling them. And then some information going along with them. So if you handle it, you have to put on it some paper. That is what we normally get in trade forwarding pre elect They will send information related to the goods from the point of origin to the point of consumption so that whatever is in that prayer alert or the bill of leading or the invoice or the parking list they are not the goods but they are information relating to the goods from the origin to the point of consumption for the purpose of conforming to customer requirements so that the customer would get its requirement. What the customer wants, whatever you are moving, should conform with what the customer wants. So, this definition includes those goods which are going to a source point of delivery from point of departure it could be a port it could be an airport it could be a border town it could be anywhere we have goods which are moving out this is the outbound but there are others which come in which is the inbound so we have these goods going with documentation and certain services which will give you information then internally within your services you can also move goods and there are external movements and return of materials for environmental purposes sometimes goods that you have sent out and come back to you again because there are certain issues with them some of them do not meet the requirement some of them for environmental purposes they have to come so you can see various definitions in the literature here which uh, you can read for yourself what the webster's dictionary and the Oxford Dictionary is talking about when it comes to logistics. So, goods and services are subject, they are subject to a variety of information transformation activities. All these activities have really meaningful benefits. Their logistical benefits are format benefit. When you are processing something, you process it to a certain format. You use machine processing, you can heat it 
when a blacksmith is heating an iron and then trying to shape it they are giving it a format that it will look like you can cool the thing you can do construction work as in building and then you can also demolish the whole thing that you have done so these are a variety of transforming activities that happen when goods and services are moved and they can be subjected to some of these activities like machine processing when you take a raw material from your warehouse by the time it comes out it may not be the same again like it happens in in the manufacture of vehicles several parts are taken and when they put them together you come out with a whole vehicle but if you decide to decapitate them or dismantle them then you don't have the car anymore so then we talk about location benefit obtaining moving and storing when you move the consignment first you have to get it that's obtained you move it and you store it time benefit to be available for the person at the right time or have on hand at certain times it should be there when we talk about time benefit if the goods are supposed to be there at five o'clock it might be there at five there should be no two ways about that there should be no ambiguity if you deliver much earlier fine somebody will be very comfortable with it some people may not even be comfortable because they were expecting that at a particular time their warehouse will be empty so that when you bring the goods it can get space but when you bring it much earlier and the warehouse is still full apart from what you have agreed upon and you bring it at the wrong time which is earlier the person may not be comfortable because you don't have storage space so many things can infuriate your customer if you are not on time it can be before or after if you come late it can be very very uncomfortable and you will not be happy so they have explained the format benefits here during production format benefited benefiting activities are performed in the following manner you alter that's alteration of certain materials into other materials for example crude oil into oil products then we talk about assembly construction that these are the format benefits that we're talking about then we talk about destruction that is the demolition of a ship then time and location benefit like i was saying storage of goods and services for a specific time transport of goods and services from a specific sender to a specific destination at a specific time that is the intended time so you take note of all this so we talk about logistics we're talking about production assembling and dismantling like you saw the construction and then demolition so as well as storage and transport of the materials they can be raw material semi finished products like manufactured articles products and services when we are importing fans that is the ceiling fans you don't see them assemble you see the ceiling fan coming with the blades in a different package and the motors also come differently they also come in a different package but they all move together so that you will know that if you have four blades to a motor and the motors are 10 the blades should be 40 
So there's always that movement of products, but they may be semi-manufactured. We also have to notice that activity sectors changing or alteration, storage and transport of care during the process that we call logistics. So a chain is illustrative this process in logistics. So, so when we talk about supply chain, when logistics is happening, you see that it will move like a chain. Any alteration, any distortion, any break in the chain, chain will not hunger well for the process. So it's always a problem if you are not keeping to the right way. Then seeing that the manufacturing, storage, and transport of goods and services are justified. Then the production company, what do you do? The inbound material I'm explaining, the auxiliary material, those are material in stock. And then the product stock, what we have manufactured. So